Hello, everybody, and welcome to another mini cast from the Life Administration podcast. This one is on how to compose an email. Um, lots of you might be thinking, why in the world do I need to know about email? Um, because texting is so easy and prevalent. Well, email is still the primary way to communicate at work, um, and you're going to find that it is also a very easy way to communicate um, casually as well. Texting just doesn't quite cover everything that you need it to do. Plus, texting gets very informal um, and that can sometimes lead to mistakes and misunderstandings, etc. that you do not, you definitely don't want around your professional life and you probably don't want around some of your personal life. Anyway, so how do you compose an email? First of all, since it is more formal than texting, you do need to worry about punctuation, spelling, and grammar. Um, try to avoid abbreviations in email. Um, definitely have all of your punctuation, have all of your capitalization, please. It's totally fine to use the low, uh, lowercase i in text. Not so great in email. Um, also, depending on the context of the email, and I'll get to that in just a sec, you probably want a greeting and a closing. So. Ryan, who's recording on the other side, you know, hey, Ryan, you're coming over to do X, Y, and Z this afternoon for um, our recording session. All right, just confirming. See you later, Leslie. So usually doesn't need to be more formal than that, but there are some levels of formality. So um, the types, when you're dealing with professional email, um, there's one-to-one -one emails. They are, there are de, um, group distribution emails. So one person is sending out an email to a whole group of people, like maybe their section at work. Um, and there's a group discussion email. One-to-one um, -one emails need to be pretty formal in the business setting. Um, group distribution emails, frankly, usually you don't need to even reply to those. You just kind of keep them um, in an archive you keep. But if you need to reply to them, do not reply all. In general, unless everybody really needs to know what's going on in the reply, do not reply all. If you do reply all, because everybody needs to know what's going on, then you need to make sure that all of your punctuation, grammar, opening, close, or greeting and closing, all of those things, they don't need to be fancy, but they need to be present. Um, then there's the professional group discussion email. Um, and this Lots of times you'll have maybe a Google group or something like that, so, or maybe your office will have some sort of Slack discussion room set up. Um, kind of follow what other people do for format, remembering that it's always more formal than text. Email is always more formal than text. Um, then you have personal emails. You have your, again, one-on-one -on -one personal email. Um, those are probably the least formal emails that you're ever going to send. You're just emailing your friend about... I don't know what y'all did the previous night or trying to set up a, oh, hey, you know, a couple of us from high school were trying to set up a, a time to go out and hang out. Um, you might do that in text. You might do that in email. Very casual. Um, then there are also casual group distribution emails. Again, somebody from school emails about, sent a blast email about whatever. People have now gotten to the point where they tend to use blind copy for all the distributions so you can't actually reply all, but definitely resist the urge in group distribution emails to reply all. I might have said that a couple of times. It gets That's one of the few rules that's really coming out in, um, as the email etiquette kind of filters through as we get more used to it, don't reply all unless it's absolutely necessary. Um, and then the more formal casual email, one-on-one, uh, -on -one, the more formal non-business email is the um, group discussion email. So again, you're, you've got a bunch of people that are working on the kids' uh, project at school, so their discussion about that. Maybe you have a local news discussion group, whatever like that. That tends to be a more formal email, kind of think how you would do sort of a one-on-one -on -one email in the professional setting. Um, the more people that are involved, the more polished you want to look. Um, but other than that, if you have any questions, as always, put them in the comments, tweet us, um, or send us an email at mailbag at lifeadministration.com. Thanks a lot. Bye.